This tutorial explains how to use templates to increase your productivity when obtaining signatures from other people. If you have a form that you send out for signing over and over again, you should make this form a template. Templates are stored in your account, and when you send out a template for signing, it gets copied into a new document, and the copy is sent to your recipients. The template itself will stay intact and ready for reuse. After signing up or logging in, you will see the list of documents. To upload your file as a template, you should first switch to the list of templates. To do this, click on the link Templates. You will see your template list, which is empty at the moment. To create a template from your form, click on the Upload Template button and choose your file. It will be uploaded to DigiSigner. You can now make changes to your template, such as adding your signature or specifying where the recipient should place their signatures or enter texts. To do this, Click on the Open button or on the template image to open the template. The template will appear on the screen. To do this, click on the document and type, draw, or upload your signature in the dialog box that pops up. For more information on how to do this, please see our tutorial, How to Create Electronic Signature. You have the option of specifying where signers should place their signatures or enter texts. Please note that this step is optional. If you skip it, the signers will be free to choose where to sign the document or enter texts. In our tutorial, we assume that you want to invite one person to sign the document and enter some text in the specified field. To specify where the signer should place the signature, we will add a signature field to the template. To do this, click on the Signature Field button. Then click in the document where you would like to place the field. The Field Properties dialog box will pop up. In this dialog box, you can change your field settings, add a new signer, or rename an existing signer. Click on Add Field when you are finished. A new signature field will then appear in your document. You could resize the field and position it wherever you like. If you click on the field, the Field Properties dialog box will pop up again, allowing you to update the field settings. You could also add other types of fields to your document by selecting them in the Add Fields block. Here is how the document looks with the signature and text fields. When you are finished adding fields, just click on the Done button to save the changes. You will then be redirected to your list of templates. You can always open the template again to change the position or size of the fields, or to add new fields. To send the template out for signing, click on Send for Signing and enter a name for the document that will be created as the template's copy. Then press Next and enter the signer's email address. If you need to add customer-specific data to your document, you can click on the Open and Edit button and add any required information. Click on Done to save the changes and return back to the Send Document for Signing dialog. The changes will be added to the template's copy and the template itself will stay intact. In the dialog, you can also specify your own subject and email text. Click on the Send Document button. The email with the link to your document will be immediately sent to the signer. Click on the Documents link to switch to the Documents list. You will now see a new document in the list. After the signer completes your document, you and the signer will both receive it via email. In your account, you will notice that the icon has changed to the green check mark. This means that the document was successfully signed. The document status will have changed to signed. You can always download the completed document from your account using the download button. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. If something is unclear or you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact us.